Today I want to talk about a bug with grenade release sounds that has been in the game for quite some time. I don't know exactly how long, but it has been at least a year as 3Clicks uh, mentions it in a video from January of 2016. I'll link in the description. Uh, we're going to show how to consistently replicate this bug later in the video, so you can skip there now if you want. But first I need to explain what the bug is for those who don't know about it, because I think many people won't realize that this is not actually intended behavior. Basically what happens is, depending on where you are standing, releasing a grenade will either produce a global sound or be silent. The sound is actually supposed to play every time you throw a grenade, but on some maps like Cache, throwing a grenade on the vast majority of the map will be silent. Here are some examples. Because of how common this is, many players may think that it is a feature. Uh, Days made a video a few weeks ago about pop flashes, I'll link in the description, where he attributes it to what material you're standing on. However, we have found a way to reproduce and predict this bug consistently, and it actually has to do with how the map is constructed in Hammer, and will occur regardless of material. Okay, welcome to this custom map. This is uh, Displacement Test 5, and we're going to release this on the workshop so that other people can uh, mess with it. and sort of verify what's going on here. Um, so what we have is basically we have some displacements floating over some, some different uh, objects. So on the left we have, uh, this is a funk detail and that's a funk detail. Um, on the right we have uh, whirl brushes and then whirl brushes. In the back we have a, a prop crate and then the same prop uh, but with a whirl brush intersecting it uh, less than like what one unit from the top you said? Okay, um, and then that's a that's a just a player clip, and then this is this is this ground is all just a, a big wall brush. Okay, so box, can you just while standing on the wall brush toss a nade? And then on the displacement on top of the wall brush. And this is a one unit gap here, uh, sort of hard to see, it's one unit, two unit, and so on down. So those are silent releases. Um, and then if he stands on uh, this funk detail, or underneath a uh, displacement, So all of these releases are audible, and then the same thing would occur um, on these two ramps, and this is just a brush that's tilted with a flat displacement, and then a, a brush that's flat with a tilted displacement. Now, uh, what we did is, uh, if you, if we slowly step down on, uh, on each of these, uh, we get to a point where uh, let's see, this is this is eight units distance, and right here it is still silent. Uh, but if you move over to nine nine uh, units distance, it becomes audible. Um, but it's not it's not it doesn't have to be a flat displacement. So if he moves over to here um, and goes all the way to the end, that's more than eight units distance. Becomes audible, and then if he moves further down, even though it's still, uh, even though it's a tilted displacement, it is silent. And then the same thing occurs uh, on this ramp. So it would appear that um, being more than eight units. Uh, or being less than eight units above a, a wool brush uh, it causes the sound to not play. Um, but in fact, that is not the case. Uh, the sound does play. So if Bug stands on the uh, the wool brush here, um, 
it's silent. But if I if I no clip underneath him into the ground, I hear only the releases, but not the actual nade. Um, and that's not limited to just being underneath him. So if he moves closer to me, and I go into this wall. So being in any nearby uh, world rush, no clip into it, the sound still plays. Um, it's just that if you're not within a world rush, uh, you don't hear it for whatever reason. Um, and this is um, also doesn't really have anything to do with uh, player velocity or, or whether or not they're standing because um, it box as a jump throw while on the player clip. Uh, the release is silent. Even though the nade is being released from the player while he's airborne. So given all that, uh, I don't know exactly uh, what is causing the issue, but my best guess would be that the sound for releasing a grenade is being played from a point source that is uh, nine units below the player's feet. So that if a player is standing uh, less than or equal to eight units above a world brush, uh, the sound plays inside the world brush and therefore is not uh, audible to uh, any player unless they are somehow clipped into that brush. Um, but again, this map is going to be uh, released on the workshop. There will be a link in the description so that, um, maybe somebody else can um, sort of work on this and, and help determine exactly what is the cause. And uh, maybe if Val sees this video, they'll... Uh, given our ability to reproduce this consistently, uh, be able to fix the bug.